Bucks. Winner at Martinsville earlier this year. Double duty this weekend on the pole for the ARCA race that you'll see on FS1 this evening at 6 Eastern time. Look at that mess he's in. All that traffic. That's valuable information to gain there. What's my car do when I get in the wake of other cars? And that time he was in the wake of three of them. And so he's able to pick his way through. Solid effort, Mason Massey up there on the outside in the 91 car. Looked like he got loose there, and that's what will happen when you're down on the bottom. Sideways down in turns one and two. See the numbers this season. Brandon Jones also has won on the intermediates. A pair of victories on the mile and a half at Kansas. Here's what you were talking about, Michael. Just look at that. Just steps out a bit. Got to come out of the gas. Hang on. Catch your breath. <laughs> That's a moment. Now he's going to complete that pass on the 91. This is a patriotic weekend, obviously 600 miles of remembrance, as you said, on Sunday. And Sheldon Creed in the two car, they're bringing a beautiful paint scheme here to the Charlotte Motor Speedway. And they, they've had some really cool paint schemes this year. Of course, Sheldon, a, a rookie, driving for Richard Childress. And, and trying to, to get the wheels back on the bus. They, they have struggled quite a bit. And even when they've had fast cars, they've had something go wrong. He enters the weekend 15th on the leaderboard, 79 below the cut line. Not just needing to run well. They're, they're going to need to go get a victory probably to qualify for the playoffs. Maybe it starts for them this weekend. This has been a good track for RCR over the years. Under a minute to go in practice. A.J. Allmendinger has made his way into the top 10. He's ninth, looking to make it 13 in a row, top 10s to start the year. How about that? Got that big win as well, which means a lot of pressure comes off when you go to victory lane. Yikes. A little damage on the side of that. Let's see what happens off turn two. Oh, lost the front end. That was interesting. Usually you see guys just really try to pull the wheel down. He got heavy into the brakes there and it slid up into the wall. What did he say? I thought he said I lost steering for a whole second there. Maybe I misinterpreted, but that's what I thought I heard. Yeah, that's what I thought I heard as well, Adam, but I just don't know. I don't know what that means. It looked like just a classic push. You know, the front end lost the grip in the front tires and slid up. But uh, that's an interesting way to describe what he was dealing with. Opposite ends of the spectrum at Joe Gibbs Racing. One driver catches the wall. The other leads practice. We're all done with a warm-up here at Charlotte. Bain at the top. Gibbs had an issue. We break it all.